The UAE announces the working hours, the Ramadan working hours for the private sector. And what does it mean? That now the private sector, or all workers in the private sectors, will be working days, or the working days will be reduced to two days uh, per week, or two days per, 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 per duty time. What does it mean? For example, let's say for example you're a cleaner and you're working eight hours. What does it mean by the new law or the Ramadan working hours in the private sector? Meaning that if you're a cleaner and you're working eight hours, your eight hour, you're working eight hours, eight hours will be reduced by two hours. Meaning that your total uh, calculated working time for the Ramadan is six hours. And what does it mean? Or what does it mean to the employee at this time? It means that this employee will be paid full salary for six hours. That is by the law, is what he's saying. And the rest of the two hours will be what you call overtime per the UAE announcement that was made for the Ramadan 2022 hour. Actually, this is very good, this is very good news for all workers in the UAE, uh, meaning that people have enough time to rest. And apart from that, your total overtime will be calculated accordingly. And what does it mean? It means that your employer himself, he cannot give you, he cannot employ you, or he cannot make you work beyond the two hours. So strictly the two hours, the two hours should be your overtime. Let's say for example, you are supposed to work eight hours and your employer decides or you decide you have both of you that we, we, we get to a contractual agreement and say I'll be working for 10 hours or I'll be working for the full eight hours. Meaning that those full, the, the two hours that are supposed to be deducted from your normal working hours per what is the requirement of the, uh, the, the, the ministry or the, uh, the ministry uh, in the Ramadan period should be, to, should be overtime. However, something that you need to note, something that you need to note still, that those two hours, the overtime, should not exceed two hours. Hope you get me right. All duty time for all employees in the private sectors has been reduced by two hours. Depending on which kind of work you're doing, if you're a security guard, if you're a cleaner, if you're, you're a technician, if you're, you're a barber, you're a domestic worker, all those hours are being reduced to what you call two hours. Depending on what kind of hours you are working in your company, those hours are being reduced by two hours, meaning that the remaining hours that you are supposed to be calculated, supposed to be calculated at the end of your monthly salary or what you should be given. These two hours, if you, if at all in any situation you get to work in these two hours, then these two hours are calculated as what we call overtime. But still the government stresses it that, or the ministry stresses it that these two hours, the overtime should not exceed two hours. That is part of the latest announcement for the Ramadan working hours for the private sector in the UAE. Something that still you need to note that for when you look at the cabinet decision, when you look at uh, the further the article, Article 15.2 of the cabinet, so, so, uh, cabinet resolution, it, it means that no employee is uh, no employee is allowed to employ a, a, an employee or to employ a worker beyond the overtime of the two hours. However, to some situation, it will depend on the kind of position you have in that company. Maybe, for example, the company may employ you more than two hours if it cannot really stand to make a loss. However, there are still also roles or positions that will not require to be paid overtime. If, for example, you are working in what we call a supervisory uh, role, for example, you supervisor in any case, you're not being calculated at that situation. You are allowed to work for more than those uh, two hours. But however, to that situation, you will need to negotiate with your employer to have an increase in your pay. Hope you're very right. Oh, hope you're getting me right. So this is a very good uh, breaking news. This is a very good announcement for all people working in the UAE, meaning that the Ramadan period starting on the 15th of this month, updated on the 15th of this month, 
that you are supposed to be, uh, you know, working time or you know, working hours in your EE, at least by two hours. And those hours, in, in whatever situation or whatever case, if they are being worked or if you work according to what you agree with your employer, should be paid as overtime. However, something that you should note that that overtime is not going to exceed the two hours per the latest announcement. Hope I've tried to share up something for you. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. By the way, if it's your first time to come across this channel, consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell. It will be the only way that you'll be updated when I upload any video. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video.